Hey, this your boy Freeport Donny Man, MMR, Four Screens. We rocking out with DME TV, you heard? Freeport Donny, what's good, bro? Man, we cooling, man. How you? Good man, nice good to meet you. Hey, good to meet you too, man. I seen the name and everything, but it's good to put the face with the name, man. man. So we gonna kind of get in this thing, you know what I'm saying? This this stuff from beginning since this is your first time on DME TV, man. Gotcha. Tell everybody where you from and you know, so man, um, Freeport Downey, man. Like you said, Orangeburg, South Carolina, man. Represent that to the fullest, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, part member of Money Made Records, MMR. You know, shout out to Mister Free Deezy. Fame was happening. Um, I got my own other label, Four Scrans, that's coming soon, and rocking with Dejan T Management, man. You know, word, word, word. so we doing up. things, man. That's what's up, man. So what's what's going on, 2020, man? What you got? Going 2020. On? I just released a single, One One, um, that's streaming on all platforms. I'm still pushing that Drunken Glasses. Thank y'all for those streams, and we're gonna continue doing that. Got some videos coming. Um, South by Southwest coming up. Uh, two weeks. I'm in New York next week, so we just gonna be moving around the country, man. Kind of come to any city. I pull up everywhere, man. Word. Pull up everywhere. Yeah, so I know we had a conversation, good conversation off, off camera, man, but let's rewind this thing back, man. When, when did you get started this music thing, man? Uh, believe it or not, man, I've been doing music since I was like, like 10, 11. Okay. You know, I started with band, playing the drums, and then I had one of them cool moms she let me put my studio in the room and everybody just in my room recording, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we did. It kept us out of the streets, kept us out of trouble. So, and I just been doing it. I did it all through high school. I uh, went to college, shout out College of Charleston, man. You know what I'm saying? Went down there. That's why I'm no longer in school, I'm chasing the music, man. Right. Making money and then school was like, huh? Yeah. Eh? We'll save it for another day. Yeah. yeah, man. How was that studio, that first studio set up, man? Man, that shit was trash, man. Um, <laughs> so we had, it was like one track to record on and you had to use, uh, I think it was called Music Match. And you just had to hit record and you played the beat off of something else. So everything with one take. So either you memorize your shit or you had to freestyle it. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how I like freestyle. That's why I was able to sharpen them freestyle skills because I wasn't going to keep doing them takes over and over. And then when we got into the multi-track recording, you know, it was like, it's called Cool Edit, you know what I'm saying? And then eventually, um, once I got to college, um, I spent that refund check on um, Pro Tools. My pops, I think he's still mad at me about that, but right. it is what it is. But yeah, that first, that first studio, it was very simple. A computer mic, no condenser mic. We just sat on top of the little shelf and recorded. Yeah, yeah no engineering or nothing. It's just put it out. Right, you yeah. an engineer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you want to say that, man, yeah. but we ain't know nothing about them knobs and them buttons right. back then. Right. You know, I wish we did, but, you know, you learn, you grow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, what's some of the influences, man? Like, who, who, like, I know everybody has certain artists, and maybe local, maybe it was a major artist. Um, local, well, I don't like that term, local, but artists, um, of course, Mr., uh, you know what I'm saying, like, Believe it or not, we grew up in this music thing together. You know what I'm saying? He did his first song at my crib, and we trying to bounce back and forth. If I had to go mainstream, though, um, Tip, that's my favorite artist, hands down. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tip. Of course, Jay. Um, Jadakiss was another. Um, I got a lot, man. I like a lot of music, man. Um, I like a lot of Kanye. Not like all of Kanye, like they say the old Kanye. I like all of Kanye because I understand Lupe Fiasco, another one, um, Scarface, um, Snoop, okay. Pop. You know, like little. I got a lot of older cousins, so they exposed me to a lot of music. And my dad exposed me to a lot of music. Like the first album I owned mine was Doggy Style. Okay. You know, so my pops bought me Doggy Style, so I don't think he knew I was gonna be doing music at that time, but hey, it worked because I was like six when the album came out. Yeah, he just told me not to curse outside the house. So, you right, know. Right. Yeah, so you know, so I got a lot of different influences, man. Okay. Yep. So with those influences, and I know you describe your style as more hip hop. Yeah, because um I travel a lot. Um I travel a lot, I see different places, I adapt to those cities. Like uh, if you if you know me, know me, I'm always in New York. Like I I like New York a lot. I like Philly, I like DC. Um 
I like Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Certain influences. And if you from a, like, even when, um, I know you're not from Charleston, but down there by that, like, even when I was living in Charleston, like, that 17 highway, the beach, Georgetown, the Charleston, like, all that influence of culture. Because, like, being from Orangeburg and moving to Charleston, it's a different, it's a different way of living. Right. And I was downtown Charleston, not North Charleston, not some. I was downtown, you know what I'm saying? Kicked it with folks on the east side, if you know about Charleston, um, on the west side, uh, over there back to green, uh, out of West Ashley. So that that shaped me during that time to be, you know, you got to adapt. Because, like, you know, I was down there by myself, so you just got to adapt, you know? Yeah. So what's your style? How do you feel coming out of South Carolina? What, what kind of response do you get when you go out of state and they hear your style? And then you tell them you're from South Carolina. They, they, never, they never guess it. They, yeah, they, they say, um, but you don't really talk like you're from South Carolina. I mean, I can't hear how I talk outside of myself. But they say, you know, um, it's like I don't make the, I call it, uh, and it's nothing wrong with it, but I don't do the trap rap. I like that, that, that music make you reflect on your day. You know what I'm saying? Make you want to. It make you want to take your lady out, you know what I'm saying? Make you want to do some boss type shit, take trips and stuff, you know what I'm saying? People spend their money on clothes and fashion. I spend my money on plane tickets and eating at these dope restaurants for conversations, right. you know what I'm saying? So that kind of shaped my style to be a little different. I can talk about dishes that people don't really eat, like you know what I'm saying? Like I like stuff like that, right. you know. I can flip, I can flip bars a little different like that when I'm, you know, in these different cities and stuff. So you a foodie man? Man, listen, bro. <laughs> yes, I'm a right. foodie man. What's, like, what's, what's your favorite restaurant out, outside the state? Give me one outside the state or inside the state. Man, that put man, listen. <laughs> um, all right. Um, one of my favorite. I don't know if it's my all time favorite, okay. but in Atlanta, Spun Divots. I love Spun Divots. Man, listen. listen. I'm gonna go there. I, <laughs> We got to go. Okay. Hey, hey, my little sister living in the A. Shout out Dollar Jane Co. You know what I'm saying? That's another company I got too. Okay. And Signature Creations, man. Okay. That's all under my four scrans umbrella. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me, my sister, and my two little cousins. But um, Spun Divis is what dope. Um, in Manhattan, it's a, a restaurant called Burger and Lobster. Damn. Yo. You walk in, you get like a burger and you get lobster with the garlic butter and stuff like that. Um, my favorite restaurant, a favorite restaurant in South Carolina, House of Peace in Orangeburg. Okay. Yeah, the one in the hood though. The one in the hood. The one in the hood though. You can't go to the one um, uh, by China Kids. You gotta go to the one in the hood. They cook different over there. Right. Yeah, food tastes totally. Believe it or not, same restaurant. Yeah. I think different owners, yeah. but the food tastes completely different, bro. Right. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm a foodie, man. Um, we just went to Brio in Charlotte. That was real dope. Like. You know, not, not, oh, another restaurant I like, it's in Lexington. Uh, it's called Private Location or something like that. Okay. Yeah, it's real different. Got to make a reservation. It's real dope. I went there the other night. I took my wife out that other night, so it was it was dope. Yeah, yeah so, okay. yeah, I'm definitely a foodie, though, man. That's okay. something I enjoy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love the food, too, man. I yeah. love barbecue. That's, that's my Oh, favorite. that's not. You got to pull up at the crib, man. I'm, matter of fact, I'm getting on the grill so it's Saturday, I'll be on the grill. Okay. Yeah, so you round, man. Holla at me, man. Word, that's what's yeah. saying, man. So, man, I've heard you mention some other businesses, and I, and I know some artists, you know, they have they have other things going yeah. on outside the music. Let's, let's talk about what you're uh, We got, um, well, it's called Four Scrans. You dig? Um, I got a long so you can't see the tag, but it's me and my sister, and it's my two little cousins, which are brother and sister. Um... The irony of it, we the same amount of years apart between me and my sister, him and his little sister. So we got the Dollar Jane Co. That's a bunch of body care, like your uh, soaps, uh, shea butter, all handmade and scented. Um, the body scrubs for the women and the men. You know, I use the body scrub too. It's real dope. Uh, we got, it's called Signature Creations. Um she makes customized like water bottles, shirts. If you ever see me with the Follow Freeport Donnie shirts on, that was part of my company, uh, Signature Creations. And my little cousin Evan, we starting a fitness campaign, a fitness line coming soon, man. We on our fitness shit. If you follow me on Instagram at Freeport Donnie, you see me getting my workout in daily. I be posting and tagging. If y'all want to join in the challenge, shoot me a DM. I tag y'all in the because health is wealth, man. We gotta take care of our bodies, man. You know what I'm saying? All this. 
coronavirus and shit right. going around, quote unquote. But you gotta take care of ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So yeah, uh, we got that launching. Um, and that's been going for a while, man. Like my little sister's been taking off with the Dollar Jane Co. Okay. It's, it's called Dollar Jane Company. So okay. you know, she's been taking off, but that's based out of Atlanta. Okay. I have, yeah. to, we have to link up with her, man, and do something. I, you know, I love supporting black people doing positive things. Especially hey, man, anytime. Like, right, right. Especially with, with these times, man, like, we got to do more. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We got to build our own. We gotta, got to, yeah. We should, we we should build our own, man. We shouldn't live with the stigma of, you know what I'm saying, what, what other people may say. Um, I got people who... They act different when they get in the room full of white folks. Like, we got to learn to navigate our own, man. We built this place. You know, we built this country. So, like, and I, I mean, I'm unapologetically black. So, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, we take what's ours, we make it ours, and we build on it. Definitely. And share the wealth, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You got to keep the, the black dollar. In the, the black, black community. community. You're right. Real. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind shopping with people, you know what I'm right. saying? Just yeah. like um my people over there. Uh actually my first real sponsorship, uh Standard of Dopeness or Church House. Well, church house, you gotta say how it's spelled. But anyway, like man, they hooked me up with gear. I wear them shirts 50 million times, supporting people. So when they ask, you know, hey, what's that shirt? Uh it's church house. And then I got on the day. Uh, Lucky's Creations, you know what I'm saying? Okay. One of my partners from the crib back in the Berg, you know, he be hooking me up with gear. I'm actually meeting up with him after this to get some gear for South by Southwest. So if I ain't got to wear name brand stuff, well, let me rephrase that. If I don't have to wear the mainstream name brand, I'm wearing the name brand of my people, man. We keep it in the family. That's my that's my thing. Definitely, I need one of 17 shirts you got on, hey, you know what I'm saying? Get you, I get you on. Yeah, my... I done ran 17. Man. I know hey. about 17. <laughs> I'll definitely get you up, bro. I'm going to get you a side before hey, you even I get you word. Up, man. Definitely, man. Word, bet, bet, bet. So you're going to stop by side with us? Is this your first time going? My first time yeah. going, man. We were supposed to go last year, but um, we got some shows and it just wasn't in the it wasn't in the flight schedule. Okay. So, uh, you know, we went to get that show money instead, man. No, definitely. You know what I mean? That. Everybody say South by South was a good look, but right. we got to pay the bills. Yeah, yeah. Got to pay the bills. So, yeah, but I'm going to be out there, man. We performing on the 16th, so... That's gonna be a dope. That's gonna be a dope look. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know where you performing at? Oh uh, man, I got I I got that. Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> I got it in here, man. I got a um, and I just posted it too. But I be having so much sometimes. Let's see, yeah. Um, but I know it's on the 16th. Uh, Dejan T, you know my manager. We got our own stage and platform out there for the upcoming show. We're gonna do the set together and, and kill it. Um, it's gonna be at the Scratch House. Scratch House, okay. Yep, the Scratch House. Um, you know, it's an official South by Southwest stage, you know what I'm saying? Courtesy of Dejan, I appreciate you for that one. We're gonna, man, we're gonna rock that shit out, man. We're gonna put on for Carolina. Yeah. South, that is. Word. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we fuck with y'all too, North Carolina, yeah, but yeah, yeah we're going, hey man, I'm from South Carolina, but yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta, gotta, I'm hey. from the Carolina, but hey, I'm from South Carolina. Yeah, gotta put that stamp on it, yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> gotta put that, cause like, you know, granted, it's everybody like to mention the Carolinas, but South Carolina gets overlooked, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you say Carolina, everybody think of Charlotte. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in an era, well, not an era, but a culture where Charleston is the number one tourist spot in the country. So, like, you know what I'm saying? We got to get that recognition where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't know. I'm from Orangeburg. If you ever go to Orangeburg and see the McDonald's, the McDonald's sign spinning. Right. Y'all can check any city y'all in in America. Y'all not going to see the McDonald's sign spinning. It's like a little That's thing. True. Like, yeah, you That's see true. what I'm saying? About that. Yeah. Uh, so, like, it's like little things. Like, yeah. The Rose Garden in Orangeburg is the number one Rose Garden in the nation. Okay. Like, South Carolina got them little things right. that stand out to people that's interested in them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, kids from the hood, they're not looking for no Rose Garden. I get it. But them other folks, they coming in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's lit. The Festival of Roses in Orangeburg is lit. The Taste of Orangeburg is lit. Like, uh, so, you know, you got to get out and do things, yeah. man. Yeah. And, like, I'm, I put my city on my back. Uh, yeah, man, so, gotcha, man. yeah. So what's, what's, what's your next uh, goals, man? Your goals, let's say your five-year goals, man. I'll be honest with you, man. That's too far down the line because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, you got to go through stuff to shape that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, in five years, I plan to have kids and be, you know what I'm saying, 
doing better than what I'm doing now because I keep my trajectory keep going up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my wife, Siobhan. Love you. Um, but that's, you know, buy another house. We just bought a nice little pad on the other side of the city. Uh, probably, we're probably going to buy another one or build one uh, with the music, though. I'm going to keep cranking out music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a platform where I can put the music out. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got the MMR label. My boy DZ come home. We put him on y'all heavy. Okay. Heavy. Like, I can't explain, like, the plan we done put together for him. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty heavy when he come home. You know what I'm saying? Um, other than that, man, traveling, f- yeah. eating, staying in shape. And yeah. my other company's really going to be growing, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, I mean, all honesty, we can't do this rap shit forever. You got to have that residuals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my other companies, they're going to be growing. Um, and that's, that's going to be basically it, man. Just growing them businesses, man. I'm looking for any bit partnerships, sponsorships. We can work it out. I ain't hard to find, you know what I'm saying? All I got to do is hit me up. Uh, Freeport Dining. Everything is Freeport Dining. Facebook, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Spotify. Yeah, artists, get on LinkedIn, man. I know it's more of a nine-to-five networking, but you know what I'm saying? If you treat your craft like you, like you would treat your nine-to-five, LinkedIn is a good, you know what I'm saying? That's a good way to go. So, jewels, man. Yeah, Run man. Jewels, man. Y'all take them jewels and, 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 and do it, man. Run with it. You know yeah, you can't can't cut no avenue out, man. You right. never know who's there. Who's it? Exactly. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm going to get into playing golf. One of my college uh, roommates, he's like, the best place to talk business is on the golf course. Man, you was like, the friend <laughs> my uncle told me that. <laughs> hey, man. You know what I'm saying? I asked him why. He was like, there's nobody there to listen. So I was like, all right, it makes sense. You, you got the trees, you got the drinks, and you got the... Well, trying to play golf. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, if you think about uh, it, look at some old mafia movies. That's what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I had watched The Irishman, and, like, yeah. they just moved different like yeah, that, you know? Right. Yeah, and, um, like, reading a lot of different stuff, too. Reading, a, it'll open your mind. Like, I just ordered um, uh, that new Jay-Z book that came out. Um, I can't think of the name of it. It's real dope. It gives you a different insight to, like, how he move as he move, um... Uh, it's a lot of, I got like five books at the house that I just ordered. So like, I just be trying to do a little bit of everything, man. Keep that mind, that mind going, man. That's all, you know? That's what's up, man. Yeah. Well, man, I appreciate you stopping through, man. And nice meeting you, first of all. Hey, nice. Likewise, likewise, yeah. G. And um, yeah. I wish you the best, man, for real. Yeah, and I want to say uh, one thing. Fuck cancer. Word. Yeah. Right. Give me the shout outs, man. Give the last shout outs. Man, shout out to the city, the Orangeburg, uh, whole Carolinas. Um, Dejan T. Hey, rest in peace, plug, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog. I only known him for a short period of time, but I saw he was a real nigga when we went to Jacksonville, man. So shout out, rest in peace, plug, man. Um, Lil Gordon three times. Lexi, what's happening? Fame, you know what it is. Uh, I done said everything else, man. Don't forget my um, company, Four Scrans, man. Y'all will see it out. Dollar Jane Company, Signature Creations. And that's about it, man. Uh, shout out my granddad, man. Real OG out here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, I think that's about it, man. Oh, shout out DME TV, man. Kev the CEO, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, dog. Good time, dog. Yep. Peace. Peace.